we teach the medical students to remember the acronym CRAB. CRAB stands for the ways that myeloma can hurt people. The C stands for a high calcium, the R for renal or kidney damage, the A for anemia, and the B for bone lesions. And as you just referenced, the bone lesions and the calcium can kind of go together. This is a bone marrow illness. So the soft part in the inside of the bones is where the blood cells are born, and that's where these cancerous cells grow. And in the majority of patients, again, as you, as you mentioned, when the myeloma cells grow within that marrow, they influence the skeletal bone, the hard bone around the marrow and weaken it. And it causes these soft spots or these kind of hypodense or, uh, uh, lesions within the, within the skeletal bone. And we rely on the skeletal bone, obviously, um, uh, to keep us upright, to allow us to walk and lift weights. And if we have weakening of those areas, uh, you can have fractures and pain. So in the majority of myeloma patients that develop symptoms, one of the symptoms can be these bone lesions. And in some of those patients, it can even be fractures. So patients can have pain in the, in the bones and, and uh, like I said, even, even fractures uh, in unfortunate circumstances. And, and this is one of the major sources of morbidity uh, uh, for our patients. Can you tell us uh, a little bit more about that, uh, how it's a major source of morbidity? Yeah, well, when patients with myeloma present with pain, then you're, you have a person who already needs pain medications, potentially radiation, sometimes even surgery. At just the same time, they're being told that they have this bone marrow disorder that needs chemotherapy. And so it can be really kind of a rough and overwhelming experience where uh, you have this symptom that needs to be uh, handled. And at that same time, you need a total body treatment to prevent more, uh, more problems. Um, so, so thankfully, with good myeloma treatment, the majority of patients have a decrease in their pain, a drop in their risk of fractures, um, and can feel a lot better with time. But it certainly complicates the early course uh, for, for many patients at the time of diagnosis. And how do you typically, you, you referenced briefly uh, radiation. Is that how you would typically treat the, these lesions? So it depends. You know, radiation is a way to focus like an energy beam right at a problem area. So for example, if someone with myeloma presents with a single area of concern, let's say in their hip or their leg, and really the rest of them is kind of doing okay, then sometimes the initial approach will be, let's give a focused energy beam of radiation, eliminate the myeloma in that one spot, protect the bone and decrease the pain, and it can offer wonderful benefits. For the majority of patients, myeloma is a total body illness from day one, meaning there's not a singular spot of concern, but there's many. And when that occurs, the best approach is often total body medicines. And thankfully, we live in an era where the medications for myeloma are very effective, and the vast majority of people will have a drop in their myeloma burden very, very rapidly. So as long as you jump in quickly with effective medications that treat the entire body, the pain should hopefully get better everywhere. 